Brothers who are blessed by God. Cats are one of the animals that are popular as pets. Many people like this adorable animal because it can be a loyal and fun friend. But behind all that, did you know that the Islamic religion actually forbids its followers from keeping cats? Why is that? Watch the video till the end. Brothers of One Faith It is important to understand that the recommendation not to keep cats is not caused by a definite religious prohibition, but it was caused by legal problems from the cat's fur. Are cat fur pieces nagies? This is one of the questions that may be bothering those of you who keep cats. Because when you keep a cat, the animal's fur loss will definitely spread everywhere, starting from hair that sticks to clothes, mattresses, sofas, to curtains. Therefore, you need to know the law regarding whether or not the cat's hair is Najee's or not. So, is it true that his legal status is Najee's? Let's look at the following explanation so you don't misunderstand. First, law on body parts that are detached from living animals. Before we discuss the answer to the question whether cat hair is unclean, we must first understand why this question arises. More precisely, why is there concern about whether or not strands of cat fur are unclean? For some people this is certainly quite surprising. The reason is that not many scholars discuss whether or not strands of cat fur are unclean. Maybe some of us think that cat fur is not unclean, that is a certainty that no longer needs to be questioned. However, you may need to know the laws regarding animal body parts that have been separated from the body. In various jurisprudence literature, it is explained that body parts that are separated from living animals have the same sacred or unclean status as the carcass of that animal. For example, if a rabbit's ear has been cut off from the rabbit's body, the piece of the ear is considered unclean, because the carcass of a rabbit is considered unclean. However, this certainly does not apply to animals whose carcasses are sacred, such as fish and grasshoppers. The body parts of these two animals were definitely considered sacred. These provisions are based on the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. Something, body part, that is separated from a living animal, then its status is like being in the state of being a carcass. Second, unclean or not strands of animal hair. After knowing that pieces of an animal's body are the same as the law of the animal's carcass, then you also need to ask, is the law the same as when you want to punish strands of fur or hair from a living animal? Cuts from animal body parts that are considered unclean do not include fur or hair. The legal status of fur and hair that is removed from an animal's body is not immediately punished in the same way as the carcass of the animal. Feathers and hair have different details. Fur or hair that comes from animals that are halal to eat is considered sacred. Like the feathers or hair that come off chickens, goats, cows, and other animals whose meat is halal for consumption. However, if the loose fur or hair comes from an animal whose meat is not lawful to eat, then the fur or hair is considered unclean, just like the fur of rats, dogs, donkeys, or other animals which is haram to eat. This is in accordance with the information in the Baijuri law book. Anything, body parts, cut from a living animal is considered carrion, except for fur taken from animals that are halal for food. Then, what about cat fur? Cats are animals whose meat is forbidden to eat. Are cat fur pieces unclean? Third, whether or not cat fur is unclean. Cats are animals whose meat is forbidden to eat, so the law of cat fur is unclean. Scholars still categorize cat fur as an unclean object. But the uncleanness of cat fur is categorized as uncleanness that is tolerated or forgiven. 
The tolerance referred to is when a small amount of cat hair sticks to clothing. And when a large amount of cat hair sticks to it, it is considered unclean. But it is specifically tolerated for people who frequently interact with cats and find it difficult to avoid cat fur. For example, veterinarians and cat salon staff interact with cats every day. Unclean cat hair is also tolerated when this cat hair comes into contact with water that is less than two coolers. This water remains holy, is not considered unclean, and can still be used for purification. The categories of how much and how little cat hair is tolerated depend on the judgment of the general public. If the cat's hair loss is considered to be small, such as two or three strands, then the cat's hair uncleanness is tolerated and forgiven. And if there is more than that, then it is not tolerated, except for people who find it difficult to avoid cat hair. These legal provisions are explained in the law book of by jury. Excluded in the editorial of animals that are halal to eat, namely the hair or fur of animals that are not halal to eat, such as donkeys and cats. So the fur from these animals is considered unclean. However, this impurity is tolerated or forgiven when in small quantities, even tolerated in large quantities for people who often have difficulties with fur, such as fur cutters. Then, what about cat lovers who like to hug and carry, even sleep with cats? Is there a lighter opinion about loose feathers that stick to clothes, mattresses, or even prayer areas? The legal provisions for unclean cat hair that have been explained previously are the provisions of the Shafi'i Matzab scholars. We can get a lighter opinion, namely the opinion of Maliki Matzab scholars. The Maliki Matzab of thought says that the law of animal fur is that it is not unclean without exception. This information is as stated in the following law book of Maliki Matzab scholars. Fine fur is as sacred as coarse fur, because it does not become a container for life. Only Allah knows better. 